All right, folks, welcome back. This is our final meeting for the week. And this completes my daily review for the 2022 ICT free mentorship on YouTube series. All right, so we finally made a run below that May 12th, 2022 low here. And I want to take your attention into the hourly chart. All right, so here's the trading day for Friday. And we'll look at this when we get to it. All right, so we've consolidated, the market ran up, took the stop on my final balance on that paper trade. We moved up into a deeper fair value gap creating the high of the day. We broke down below the 39.15 and a quarter level. Now for me, this was the, the turning point that I required. Like I didn't want to do anything prior to this run here. I did a commentary on the Twitter spaces uh, portion of their service or whatever. Where you basically just get to hear someone talking and uh, just jawbone for a little while. Around 8.30 to 10 o'clock, I spent about 90 minutes just covering a lot of different things from psychological things to personal things and trading and, you know, how my children are, with the exception of one, <laughs> uh, not really interested in trading, but now I have one of my sons that are actively pursuing and now he, obviously you know he's given me permission to show you his account here um, it's a it's a live account there you go you can see uh, he got his account up today here so previous balance I was mentioning and showing you earlier I showed you a little clip on Twitter Previous balance after commissions, he had $9,751.66. And today he added another $3,700 to it, bringing his balance to $13,451.66. That would essentially be in three weeks, like 300% return or number one spot on the Robins leaderboard in less than a month. Now, obviously, AMP allows you to trade with an uh, amount of leverage that is you know, exceedingly lower than that of what Robbins would do. That kind of return, obviously, is not typical. Okay, I'm not promising any of you that you're going to get that. And yes, he's my son, so he has a lot of experience sitting next to him. So when we're looking at charts together, um, I'm kind of like leaning on my experience and asking him what he sees basically what I'm doing with you all when I'm training you. Okay. I'll prompt you. I'll say, what do you see here? And what do you see there? So that way it kind of it builds his understanding as the charts are painting and he gets to push the buttons on his own, deciding whether you know, he wants to get in or get out. And there it is. And today I was utilizing that swing low there. So I wanted to see that break. So during the time on Twitter, I wasn't really interested in anything until that low was taken out. And you can hear that in the discussion. Uh, I'm wanting to see this low break. I was giving it an opportunity to see if it was going to show a willingness to come up here and run these highs. That could have very well happened, hit that, and then did all this business here. Uh, but it just so happens that it breaks the... 39.15 and a quarter level here and then right in there I'll explain how I personally would have been involved and how I actually was talking to my son about it and these types of ideas helped him you know propel his account today the market trades below the short term low here took some sell side out there and then ultimately taking out the 38.55 level rather handsomely and we'll look at all this business when we drop down lower time frames let's look at the 15 minute time frame 
All right, so here's that fair value gap it worked up into. I wasn't interested in all this business back and forth chopping around. Finally, with the 39.15 and a quarter level, it broke through it, and then we had a gap in here, which we'll see on the lower time frames. That was, in my opinion, the better trade. Now, some of you are going to look at this and say, well, it didn't go to a premium. I'm teaching you how to find the highest probability and also trusting the model. I'm not limited to just one model. Okay, so I, I kind of like want to preface it by saying that I don't want you thinking that I'm just this one trick pony that I can only do what I'm taught in this model. I know some of you want me to sit down every single day and give you the example of that model, but to do that, I, that takes away that discovery for you. Like you got to go into your charts and find them. And then by building a backlog of old data, showing those types of moves, it helps obviously with your confidence. It builds your own pattern recognition. And it's just, that's just the way you are supposed to do it, period. You know, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not going to hold your hand for you. I've taught you what it looks like and how to find it, where it forms. So that way you go through it and you look for it to form in your own charts and collect the examples of it. That's backtesting. So anyway, it runs through 30, 72 and a quarter, creates another opportunity in here. And you can actually see the fair value gap there. Trades up. That's another short. Worked lower, finally creating the short-term low. And at 1.30, that's when we start watching the afternoon PM session. It rallies up, creates short-term high in here. Fair value gap. The last hour of trading rallies back up into a fair value gap here. So if you look at the range from here to here, it goes back to a premium. I taught you that. So that's a target. This imbalance, fair value gap, reversal on Friday's trading up into an old imbalance there. Okay, so my son participated in shorts in here. He took two shorts and went along in here all throughout this and was able to, again, push his account up $3,700 today. We go into a five minute chart. Here is that same idea where it went, created the low, 130, it starts doing its business. What's it reaching for? I'm going to go back into the middle of the range into a premium. This is the array above half the move from here to here is 50% equilibrium. And this is the premium level. So it goes down a small little drop down in here into the fair value gap after three o'clock. And then the market starts sending it into an algorithmic spool where all this price action starts running aggressively into the close up into a completely random level that was shown on the, on the hourly chart. And here we have the market trading right up into that area and then just consolidating going into the close. So now the idea of looking for a setup, let me go into, no, let's go into this little area right in here. Here's that fair value gap there. It rallies up into it there and there, then breaks lower. In here, there's a fair value gap. It trades up into it there and sells off. Notice that it's occurring at the levels that I have here on the chart. Those old lows where sell side would be resting. So we're using the fair value gap after a run below. In other words, think of it like support broken return back into the fair value gap, not, listen folks, listen, not go back to the old low broken and act as resistance. Okay. That's not how I look at it. If the fair value gap doesn't exist, I don't trust that level as an old support broken term resistance. That's why I try to tell everybody that comes to me, oh, he's just trading break and retest, or he's trading support and resistance. I'm not because I classify specific levels beforehand looking at them with the logic that the market's going to create these patterns around them. Same thing here, old low, the fair value gap, it trades up into it. it why didn't it just stop at the 38, 72 and a quarter level? Because it's going into the imbalance here, then delivers going lower. So the two shorts were in here and here, the longs were in here, here, and then riding up into the imbalance. Okay. 
and it's real hard to beat a live account proving it and it's all the better when it's your own son pushing the buttons and seeing it happen so that's just a really good feeling as a dad so hopefully you know with what i shared this week um, i gave a lot of content and today i just wanted you to understand what it was and why i was not willing to take a trade yet because i wanted this level the 39 15 and a quarter level to be broken i wanted that to happen first and to do that because on the 15 minute time frame that gives me that break whereas all up here it's just it's consolidated i don't want to catch a, a break below a short-term low and then then run relative equal highs notice that that's the reason why i'm picking that because i know you're all asking well why didn't you use any of these short-term lows being broken you could have if you want to be ultra aggressive i wasn't willing to be ultra aggressive because we have a lot of volatility in these markets right now so i want to know that i know so this short-term low that's why i had it noted i told you about it in the commentary today listening to me on twitter breaking through you don't see the gap here on the 15 minute time frame but it's appearing on the five minute chart and that's what my son and employed as his trade and then down in here there was another trade and down in here there was another trade and then here's a trade so the key levels that i note they're not just indiscriminate levels they're levels that are built on the logic and it's based on liquidity not support and resistance it's liquidity the orders i know are going to be there based on the logic that the market's likely to do what it's going to reach for that 38.55 level only if we break below here and then we have a fair value gap and then we break this level here and does it get a, another fair value gap yes and then delivers even more so it's a matter of all these things coming together as a confluence not just one thing you know leading to that's the conclusion that's the uh the exercising of the pushing of the button it requires a lot more things and that's kind of like what i was helping you with yesterday and hopefully this morning if i was successful at least i was hoping i was successful some of you are really uh coming back with feedback on twitter saying it was it was helpful and you've seen it some of you actually took trades some of you actually did demo and paper trades and, and you see it you actually participated in it but when i said this morning when i was closing the presentation on Twitter where I was audibly heard you can't see my charts I was kind of like discussing things in certain levels what I was saying was I don't have a setup yet it's sloppy and what it was doing is all of this in here okay so as we got to the 10 o'clock hour I told you I wanted to be off air at 10 o'clock because I'm anticipating the algorithm taking that low out and it does and then it creates the pattern I taught you which is the fair value gap we have the displacement and I want to see it take off. Now, if you look at this displacement leg here, you're going to want to measure that and say, well, okay, it didn't go to a what? Premium. I don't expect it to go to a premium in here because it's going to be in a hurry to do what? Get down below that 38.55 level for the week. So let's go one more time back into the lower time frame. Well, actually, the first time going into the lower time frame. Scrub back here. Okay, so here is that return into the fair value gap here. So when it does this, I'm looking for it to move quickly away and start gravitating towards the other pool of liquidity down here. If you're looking at it from the relationship of short-term dealing range this swing high that swing low we have our fair value gap here it trades up into it there and that level 39 15 and a quarter so it's a confluence of several things but the level itself just highlights where the liquidity would be the imbalance is what i'm keying off of and what i'm focusing on so equilibrium or above is what premium that's what this is here okay that's on a one minute chart so don't be discouraged or look at it 
from a perspective that, hey, you know, the market didn't go to a premium. You just don't have the experience to see it yet. You got to you have to do this for a while, folks. It isn't a watch one time and then you know it like it, it takes some effort on your part. But I promise you, <laughs> if you work at it, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And then once you have it, you can't forget it. It's like riding a bicycle. OK, so hopefully this has been insightful to you. Hopefully you learned something this week. Hopefully I was able to uh, propel your understanding a little bit beyond what you were thinking was about all you're going to get from me for 2022. I have obviously some more things I want to share with you, but hopefully, you know, you enjoyed this week with me and I'll touch base with you on next Tuesday, Lord willing. Until then, enjoy your weekend. Be safe.